Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, May the 1st, 2017. The Tarot card for today is the Three of Swords, and this one is really some incredible artwork from artist Scott Holloway for 78 Tarot Astral, Tarot in Space. And there's only a couple days left on the Kickstarter for this. After that, you know, when the deck is finally in print, the prices will be higher. So if you haven't gone over to check them out and pre-order your deck, now would be the time. So, anyway, Three of Swords. Everybody's going, yuck, ooh, oh my god. More, more than that, like, more like a big ugh, right? But here we are. It's May. And ever since the year began, what have I been saying? You have to get to May. More specifically, May 22nd, but things are... You know, they're getting ready to happen. This is a month of some major energy shifts and in a good way, mind you. So this really, when you look at this card and you, you know, comprehend its meaning, uh, this could be an incredible moment. You're getting ready to separate from all of the pain and all of the loss and all of the things that have happened. You've been trying really, really hard, but it seems like there's been a hurdle. That you need to get over and that's what's coming this month is that being able to see what you need to do not just to separate because here you are now you know it's may you're done mercury is stationing about to go direct on the third so in the coming days things are going to start moving forward again so this this moment of the way the way i like to see this card okay you have to really stop and think about it Think about the storminess of life and that cloud that, that hangs over your head and tugs at your heart. You know, the days that you just feel bad, right? And think about that storm lifting and the wonderful feeling that comes once it's passed. That's really what this card is all about. You are in a month that's going to bring tremendous change. And by next month, you're really, really going to start feeling it. Like where things are, are moving and you've, you're like, okay, I can do this. I've got this. So I know we've talked about this so many times about that, letting things go and releasing them. And I know people get all involved in all kinds of whatever it is they're doing that they say they're releasing things and everything. But it, but it is really just like, that's it. Just, I wouldn't focus so much on it. We're going to talk, I think, more this week about focus and how focus is shifting okay and this is a part of it what should really be coming into your life um not not happiness i want to say optimism you know things are starting to look up in may where the beginning of the year no matter how hard you want tried to go forward it was kind of like slow-mo and it's going to remain slow-mo for a little while. It's in your best interest, actually. But if you start thinking about it, all right, what may make it easier for you to do the things that you need to do is to realize what in your life do you need to separate from. And that right there, that raises your spirits. Because if things aren't working, if things are painful, you know, if it brings you down, is it really worth being around? It's like bad relationships, okay? Why some people continue to beat their head against the wall trying to make them work. You know, good relationships aren't about expecting others to change. It's about being compatible in the first place. So, you know, harboring heartbreak over something that was wrong from day one, it's not a good thing. This is a good moment right now. We're coming into a time when you really want to take your focus forward and leave behind all this nonsense. All right. It's in your best interest to do so. Whatever it is, a person, a place, a thing, a situation. Turn your focus toward where you want to go and what you need to do and leave behind and separate from what has no place in your life anymore. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. Don't forget to check out your personalized 
tarot horoscopes on Patreon for your sign. And I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.